All right, Shalom. Let me start off by giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakodash. The bonus to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. All right, I want to touch on the topic. <clears throat> you know, pretty much uh, on um, like the Lord, he prophesied, you know, that we were going to serve wood and stone. All right. You know, and and that's what's uh, that's what's destroying our people today, man. These uh, false religions, all right. And you got a lot of so-called uh, black Spanish and Native Americans. You know that they follow the uh, the religion of either it be uh, the top two religions is Christianity and Muslim, all right, or is Islam, all right. You know these are part of the top two uh, religions in the world, all right? And um, and the Lord, he prophesied this, all right? Uh, this is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. It says, And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Even wood and stone, man. All right, and you see it today with the stone. All right, you got uh the the the, the copper stone. All right, it's which is a which is just a black stone. All right, decked over with a with a black cloth and some gold and silver. All right, and you even got uh people that people worship the cross, man. All right, when that's made out of wood. All right, and people down bound down to a cross. All right, you know, thinking that's uh. Thinking that's them bowing down to the Lord, man, which is really an idol, all right? <clears throat> you know, even wood and stone, you know, people, uh, they think uh, Islam, they got it. You know, Islam, uh, the nation of Islam, you know, they don't have the truth, all right? You know, the Lord, he's not dealing with uh, people bowing down to a stone, all right? The Lord said uh, in Exodus... Exodus chapter 20 and verse <clears throat> Salakia. Uh, let me start at Let me just start at the top. Exodus chapter 20 verse 1 says, and the Most High spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, <clears throat> which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or anything or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. All right, you know, so you're not supposed to be making images, you know, and bowing down to them, man. All right, having that as as your God, man. All right. <clears throat> In verse five, this is the point. It says, "Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I am the Lord Yahweh thy God. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity." Of the fathers upon the children of the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. All right. We should not bow down ourselves, you know, to uh, to anything, man, you know, other than your how about Shimmy I was shot. All right. And when we bow down uh, and we bow down and pray. All right. We're praying in the spirit, man. All right. We're not looking towards any image or any. Uh, object man all right we're playing we're praying in the spirit all right of your how about shimmy all shot all right you know that's all we have to do man all right is uh pray in the spirit of your how about shimmy all shot uh believe you know that he is that 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 he is there man all right you know because the scripture says you know blessed is is he that have not seen and believe all right 
you know, just because we haven't seen how about Shimmy Al Shah, all right, you know, that doesn't mean that he's not here. All right, you know, look at look at the uh the scriptures, man. The scriptures speak for itself, man. All right, living water, man. All right, the fact that uh this book, the Bible, prophesied that we were to to serve wood and stone, you know, that that's the identicator right there. You know, this book is prophetic, man. All right, you how about Shimei Al Shai? He knows our spirit because we uh we come from the same blood of Yahweh Shai. All right, Yahweh Shai, he comes from the same uh, blood, so to speak, as uh, Yahweh, man. So we, we're we literally connected with the Heavenly Father, us Israelites, man, us so-called blacks, experienced in Native America, all right, and Israelite foreigners that look, that may look like the other nations, but your spirit bear witness. All right, we are... We, um, we we share that connection with the creator all right so the creator he loves us and he doesn't want us to serve other gods man because there's only one god all right <clears throat> and let me get uh habakkuk chapter 2 verse 18 it says what profiteth the graven image that the maker thereof have graven it the molten image and a teacher of lies that the maker of his work trusted therein to make dumb idols. You know, you know, these, the wood that cross man is a teacher of lies. All right. You got Christianity, you know, they got them. Uh, they say in Christianity, everybody can be saved. You know, uh, it doesn't matter what the, uh, what the Messiah looks like. All right. Even though they paint a, Paint an image of him being white, you know. But once you question that, it doesn't matter what he looks like, you know. Uh, um, come on, man. That's that's a maker of lies, man. Teacher of lies, you know. You got the Islamic religion, you know. Uh, you, you got the fact that men they're covering, they're covering their head, you know, as they pray, man. Which is not according to the scriptures, you know. And uh, and Islam, you know, they. They believe in uh, Allah, you know. They believe in on a rock, man. You know, they their God is actually a stone, man. You know, it's pretty sad, man. Uh, your God is a stone. You know, doesn't speak, doesn't do anything. You know, the uh, next verse says it. Uh, verse nineteen says, "Woe unto him that saith to the wood, awake! Hey, hey, even to the wood, to the to that cross, man. People." Uh, especially Edomites, man. Edomites and Coon Jake bow down to a cross, you know, as, uh, speaking to it, asking it to speak and awake, man, you know, and lead them, you know, but only thing that's leading to them is uh, is to destruction, man, all right, to famine, plagues, all right, and ultimately the missiles, man, all right? It says, woe unto him that saith to the wood, awake, to the dumb, to the dumb stone, arise, it shall teach, Behold, it is laid over with gold and silver, and there is no breath at all in the midst of it. And the Lord broke it down to a T, man. All right, he knew that, you know, that uh, the so-called Arabs, you know, the um, the Ishmaelites, you know, they're going to uh, deck over the uh, stone with, <clears throat> with gold and silver. You know, you know, because the Lord, he controls everything, man. All right, and it says there is no breath at all in the midst of it, man. All right, you know there's no breath in a stone. All right, there's no breath in a in a in a in a in a, in a wooden cross, man. All right, you know that's just dumb idols, man. And uh, let me jump to uh, the Apocrypha, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter fourteen, and verse twelve. It says. For the devising, let me start at 11. It says, therefore, even upon the idols of the Gentiles, shall there be a visitation because in the, because in the creature of God, they are become an abomination and stumbling blocks to the souls of men and a snare to the feet of the unwise, man. And, you know, the, hey, these other religions, man, these other philosophies are snares to the unwise, man. All right, two-thirds of our people, they're, they're going to be caught up in it, man. You know, caught up in the trap, man. 
All right, you know, but uh, even in Romans it says it's a stumbling. Uh, uh, roughly trying to roughly paraphrase. It says the elect shall attain it, man. All right, you know the elect shall attain it. All right, this is true. All right, uh, verse twelve. This is the point. It says for the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication, and the invention of them the corruption of life. All right, this is this is this uh these other idols, man, will corrupt you, man. All right, corrupt you spiritually, man. All right, you know, that's why you see people uh they bug out, man. You know, cause they they people mixed in with they try to mingle uh the truth of Hebrew Israelites uh and uh and Muslim. All right, uh, comedic. You know, they try to dibble dabble in all these things. You know, and that's why at the end of the day they don't have the truth. All right, because uh, the the uh, the the corruption, man. All right, that's why you gotta. Uh, the scripture says, John three and three. You gotta be reborn, man, as a new babe, man. All right, you gotta uh, spew out all the madness that you've learned. All right, and, and come back to the scriptures uh, and eat the whole roll, man. You know. Uh, let me get Romans. I believe it's nine and seven. Let me start at six. Romans chapter nine, verse six says, Not as though the word of the Most High have taken none effect, for they are not, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. Verse seven, neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called, you know? Hey, in Isaac shall thy seed be called, man. All right? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you know? You know, that was the lineage, man. It wasn't Abraham uh, and Ishmael, all right? You know, because if I'm not mistaken, Abraham, he had uh, Isaac and Ishmael, all right? And it, but it was through Isaac that was, he was his seed was called, man. All right? In verse 18, I mean, in verse 8 says that is they which are of the children they which are the children of of the flesh these are not the children of the most high but the children of the promise are counted for the seed for this is the word of promise at this time will I come and Sarah shall have a son and not only this but when Rebekah also had conceived by one even by our father Isaac um and verse 11 says, For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of the Most High, according to election, might stand not of works, but of him that calleth. You know? You know, Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated, man. You know? You know, Isaac, he had, Isaac and Rebekah, you know, he had uh, two sons, man. All right? You know, uh, let me just read it. Is uh, verse twelve says it was said unto her the older the elder shall serve the younger. All right, who came out first, Esau? All right, you know so Esau he's gonna serve us in the end. All right, you know really which is really the beginning. All right, the beginning of uh the end of Esau is the beginning of Jacob. All right, in verse thirteen is the point. It says as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Man, all right so. So from uh from Rebecca, I mean from uh from Abraham and Sarah, it was Isaac. That was that chosen seed. And from Isaac to uh and from Isaac it was Jacob, man. You know? That's that chosen seed line, man. You know, so it wasn't Ishmael, man. That's children of the flesh, man. The Lord is not dealing with any other nation besides the nation of Israel. Alright, and there's numerous of scriptures to prove that. Alright? If you don't get it, man, if you, if you can't get that, you know, the Lord, he's ultimately, he's not dealing with you. All right. Uh, Amos chapter three, verse one, it says, hear this word that the Lord, Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family, which I brought up out of the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities, man. All right. So the Lord, he's dealing with the Israelites, man. Right, that's why he's punishing us, all right, because we're his children.
Okay. And uh, another precept, Joel 2.27, says, And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed, man. All right? And we're the, Lord, uh, we're the Lord's people, man. All right? And that would never change, man. That would never change, man. All right? It says, even says in Jeremiah, the, the stars and the ordinance be removed, uh, then we will cease from being um, a nation, man. All right, but the stars are still here, and we are still here, man, through the grace of Yahweh by Shemiah All right, you know, so the Lord, he prophesied, you know, our downfall pretty much, you know, and he prophesied our come up, man. All right, you know, I just read it in Romans, the elder shall serve the younger, man. All right, so these Edomites, these so-called white people are going to serve the nation of Israel. All right, you know, you know, starting with, uh, Starting with uh uh Yahweh Shah, of course, all right, King David and uh the twelve disciples and the elect, man. All right. You know, the, the nation of Edom, all right, they're gonna serve us. All right. So uh I really just wanted to touch on that. Uh, you know, the past, present, and the future was declared, man, via the scriptures, man. All right. You know, you got uh let me end it off with this. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 10. Uh, let me start at 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. So if you have spiritual ears, all right, if you have the Holy Spirit, all right, listen up. All right, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Man, the saints are the Israelites, man, according to Psalms uh, 50 and 5, Psalms 149 and... uh. Uh, 13 or 14, if I'm not mistaken, you know, you know, the proof is in the pudding, man. Precept upon precept, line upon line, man. Here a little and there a little, man. All right. You know, the past, present, and future was declared by Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. All right. You know, our downfall and our come up, man. You know, our downfall of uh, serving these other idols, man. All right. You know, even myself, man, I was in Christianity serving uh, wood, man. You know, you know, so and we got to come up out of the, you know, I'm just pretty much hitting on the two main religions. You got Christianity and Muslim and Islam, man. All right. That's not the way to go, man. All right. You know, you even got, you even got sincerely sincere people that's in, you know, Christianity and, and, um, and Islam, man. But they're sincerely wrong. All right. And at the end of the day. The Lord is going to uh, judge you for that, man. He, and he's going to destroy you, thus saith the Lord. You know? You know, all those that, that wish that Yahweh by Hashem Shah, that wish that Yahweh Shah reign not over them, bring them hither and slay them before me, man. All right? If you're not choosing Yahweh Shah, you're going to be destroyed, man. Plain and simple. All right? You know, so I just want to close out with that. I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Shah, by Hashem HaKadosh. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. All right, to the next lesson, I say Shalom.